What is going on guys, this is here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually ended off the episode like in the middle of a day, and uh, now I want to redo the George mission real quick, just so we get the good ending. And we can actually skip this because we saw the- oh whoops, did I do- oh man I- did I- <laughs> I guess I skipped everything there, whoopsie daisy. I've been thinking, maybe I've been a little bit of a grouch. So did we get the good ending there or what? I don't know, because I, I hit the skip button. I thought I was just going to skip to the next part of the cutscene, but I guess not. But let's give him a leak. Someone did leave a comment last episode saying you literally have leaks in your inventory, like extra leaks. So let's give him that. It's his favorite thing. He's at 9 out of 10 hearts. He'd probably be at 10 out of 10 if I actually did the uh, cutscene properly there. But we saw that last episode. I did have to redo a lot of the stuff. And by the way, I don't, I don't think I mentioned it just yet. I did redo this day today, the Friday the 26th. Uh, I did redo it from 6 a.m. I do I do make backups of my save like every time I record. So, you know, for situations like that, that always comes in handy, right? So I had to redo everything. And uh, I even have the Omni Geos in my inventory. So we can go over to uh, Clint real quick. And he's actually still going to be open. Hopefully, I said, yeah, I can't go that way. It's 2.30. Oh, gosh. I speak too soon. 2.30. Oh, gosh, I don't have my uh, espresso in my veins. I don't think we're going to make it, are we? Henny, you think we're going to make it? 2.40? I, I think, okay, I think we're going to make it. So we have 30-something... Oh, wait, no, he's not even, he's not even here this whole time. Where is he? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's Friday. He's, he's like in the boiler room or whatever of the uh, community center. Yeah. Did I mention that last episode? I, I feel like I might have mentioned that last episode. I, I had a lot of stuff to try and redo for this episode. I might have missed over some, uh, might have glossed over some things, but I do have a lot of fertilizer, speed grow, fertilizer, and, uh, of course, all the tar roots and all the kind of stuff. So let's actually go back to, and I don't think this was anything important, was it? Oh, yeah, it's glass shards. Yeah, I don't know if that's very important, but I'll still grab it. But uh, 310. Let's just go over to the, whatever island this is. And it is raining over there, I believe. So we should be able to hopefully get the gem bird stuff again. If if we do indeed need to do the gem bird thing all over again. And if so, hey, maybe we'll get more of those uh, golden walnuts, right? That'd be really good, you guys. As well as over here, I do want to take care of those tar roots. Uh, even though it seems like we're not going to be able to get all 100 of them grown and harvested and then shipped in time for the end of the month. I at least want to try it out, you know, see how close we can get. And if uh, we can't do it, then hey, I can always just sell them and get some good money out of them, right? Uh, or just use them, because I think we uh, looked at the stats last episode, right? And they seem kind of decent. Let's go over to the farm now, though. So let's go over there and uh, I believe, yeah, I still have some regular tar roots actually in my inventory, like gold and regular ones. Uh, well, ignore that for right now. Uh, so we can throw those inside the seed maker, right? And immediately get more seeds. And we have like actual, oh yeah, we have seeds here still. So uh, let's put these back in there. There you go. I guess we could look at the progress of that island ingredients. So we're almost at 100 tar roots actually harvested. So that's not bad there. It's just that we also need to ship 100 of them. And I don't think we're able to do that, right? Golly. Like the fastest, yeah, four days, six days there. I'm like, I could put fertilizer on them, but uh, that's already fertilized. These aren't fertilized, though. There you go. Uh, then I can grab these. Uh, let's see how many. I got 11 more right there. So that's not bad. Five days, six days. Yeah. So they grow faster whenever they're close to the water and whatnot, as well as with the fertilizer, which is good and all, but it takes 10 days just by default. So you can't really speed that up to be like two days, you know? So it's basically impossible for us to do it, unfortunately. So, man, yeah, those are the closest ones four days until those are done. So, yeah, it's, it's most likely not going to happen to you guys, unfortunately. But I guess we'll still uh, keep the tar roots and all the kind of stuff. And we could use those for uh, like eating or something like that, you know, gaining health or something. I don't know. Uh, but it is raining right now. I do know those spots where we saw the gem birds previously. I want to see if those gem birds are still there. And I do believe over here was... I, actually, I don't know. Can they be in the same spot, the gem bird? Because we saw the gem bird here previously. I don't know if the gem bird could be there or maybe in a different spot now or what. And I know we have gingers down there. I'm not crazy about them right now, you know? More ginger there. No gem bird. So it must, it must be in another location. I don't think we saw it in the docks just a second ago. So it's got to be in a different location, right? Oh, whoops, I accidentally put the rare, the sweet gem, man, I really wanted to, yeah, because we got the sweet gem, but we got the rare seed from the traveling merchant, I made sure to do that again, but I accidentally planted it down right there, right, oopsie doopsie, okay, there you go, and um, basically out of fertilizer now, so there you go, all those are planted down, we probably have like one or two seeds right here that I could use as well, I'll probably just throw them like right here. Uh, yeah, we got three of them. Not bad. One, two. Just put them next to the sprinkler, sure. They're always going to be water there, so that's not bad. Let's just go over to the Parrot Express. We know three locations we can go to now that we pretty much eliminated. It's not going to be over here, right? So let's go to the jungle. Yeah, it's going to be like right here. The jungle's super small. So let's go to you east. This is west. Let's go to the east right here. Is it here? I don't think so. Let's go to... 
I guess the docks, I, I, I didn't walk all the way up. I went straight to the Parrot Express, so it might have been over here and I just didn't see it. Uh, let's check. I don't see it. And I don't see any worms either. Yeah. So if we see worms, definitely want to check out. Uh, see if we can get anything good out of that. Because we can get a lot of like Omni Geodes and whatever else from that. So that's really good there, you guys. But let's go to the volcano now. And I have to kind of walk a little. I, it probably would have been better if I just walked up from there, right? Uh, but I'll still keep my eyes peeled for any worms or maybe even another gem bird. So this would be north, huh? No, no gem bird up there. And while I'm in the area, I could actually uh, break some of those. Uh, bone, bone things or whatever that is over there. Oh, is that it? There it is. Boom, we got another gem bird. Topaz. Now, is that the same that we got previously? The same uh, gem? Topaz? Like, could I just go home and grab, like, what was it? Amethyst and, like, whatever other plants that we needed? Could I just do that and essentially uh, bypass the whole gem bird thing? Or maybe they, like, have a thing in place to prevent me from just kind of cheating that way. I guess you could describe it as, huh? 11.50 already. Yeah, I need to go home here pretty quickly. No mushrooms here, unfortunately. But at least we got the gem bird, so I guess I could ride the Parrot Express over to the, uh, wherever it's called now. If we keep... Can you do this an unlimited amount of time? Because we already did this once before. And it seems like we could do this another time here because we just got a topaz. And, and these are empty. Yeah, these are empty. So that would be north. So let's put that topaz right here for the volcano. Oh, we won the world. Oh, it doesn't let me place it down. Where's your gifts upon my door? We already did that, though. And there's a plus sign thing right there, but it doesn't let me do anything. Strange. I don't know if it has anything to do with my save of the game last episode, but it shouldn't because I redid everything. Like, legitimately, you know? I guess we'll go to the docks. We'll go back to Willy and... What time is it right now? If it's, like, mm, past midnight, it's probably... Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close if we're actually going to make it in, home in time. I'm like, we have the horse... We have espresso running through our veins. Are we going to be, be able to make it home in time? I don't know. It's not going to rain tomorrow, unfortunately. I guess I can grab some of these. There you go. We have a little bit of time left over. It's 1.20 a.m. Jeez. Yeah, I want to do that topaz. Apparently, we don't put it on the, the door now, even though we did that previously. I don't know. I'm confused about that. But let's grab a couple, couple truffles with this process over here. Just like last time. There you go. And it's 1.30. I guess I grabbed that. And I did get the uh, tea leaves earlier. So if you guys are wondering, hey. And yep, the coffee maker's back over there. So that's cool. Yeah, so we have Topaz. I think Ruby was one of them. Amethyst, I think, was one of them. What was the other one? I don't know. Jade? Or maybe Emerald? So was it Emerald? Amethyst? I'm like, it's not raining tomorrow. So there's no reason for me to go there tomorrow. But next time we go to the island, maybe I can grab an Amethyst, an Emerald, a Ruby, and a Topaz. And maybe that would work. And it's 2 a.m. Okay, whatever. At least we're in our house. We don't have any penalties. Hey, you guys remember I have a daughter? Oh, wait, yeah. Does she turn into a baby in a couple days? Probably not this episode. 30k overnight, though. So that's pretty good there. Yeah, that was all just me redoing all that stuff uh, from last episode. You know, selling dino mayonnaise and all the kind of jazz. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's money that we already would have gotten. And Penny just picked up my lazy butt, put me in the main bed over here. <laughs> And uh, now we're waking up and watering our cacti like nothing happened. So, oh, wow, our luck plus 8.7%. I think that's what that is. That's really good luck, you guys. And, and yeah, speaking of such, I wonder, yeah, I, the luck definitely has to do something with the uh, radium ore, right? But then again, we only got two baits, so I don't know. I'm like, that's the most you can get out of the radium. And yeah, we got our daily coffee over there. Yeah, because remember last episode. Evelyn gave us a coffee maker every day, just like the uh, iridium maker or just like the bait maker thing down there. Gives us a free coffee, so every three days we get a uh, free espresso, so that's not too bad. For right now, uh, let's get five, five, and then another five, and process those in the bone mills up here and get even more fertilizers. <laughs> Man, yeah, definitely don't want to underestimate the uh, bone mills up there because we can get a lot of fertilizers out of that, especially with all the bones we've gotten. Yeah, just one singular coffee right there. Uh, you know, all the bones we gotten from the uh, Skull Cavern. Just, you know, that big run down to level 100. Even past level 100. Like, we made a level, like, 108 or something. I don't know. We got we got past 100. But apparently there's, like, 2 billion levels you could have in the uh, Skull Cavern. But I'm not going to go down to layer 2 billion, you guys. Golly, I'm not lucky enough for that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, we still have the coal and all the kind of stuff. Okay, good. Yeah, it seems like I could just take care of some of my busy work here. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, my baby dog. Oh, I pick her up and hold her. Oh, and throw her 10 feet in the air and get Child Protective Services knocking on my door. Golly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's not stuff that I should be doing. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Was her name like Zongus or something like that? Uh, Gungus. Oh, yeah. Zongus is the, uh, the dog. Er, yeah, the dog. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, Zongus and Gungus. It's easy to get it mixed up. But her birthday is 
talked today. Yes, I guess that's what throwing her 10 feet in the air does. 14 days to crawl her. So she's a baby now. She's not a newborn. She's a baby now. And then I guess in 14 days, she'll start crawling around the house. And then maybe after that, she becomes a toddler. And I think you guys say that's when she like stops growing. Like there's no like actual children. They just kind of like stop at like toddler phase. So uh, they stop growing up. So that's kind of interesting there. I guess like we can have 10 years pass in the game and there's still be a toddler. It seems like I'm going to be doing some of the busy work here in just a bit, but we do have such good luck today. I kind of want to take advantage of it and I'm not really sure. Ooh. Greetings, young adept. I have enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. M. Rasmodius Wizard. And I've got a fancy postcard over here that looks nothing like anyone else's. <laughs> you always have to be so extra, huh? Anyways, you got the uh, frozen tea right there. Okay, cool. And yeah, it looks like a lot of our crops over here, a lot of our parsnips are done uh, right at the end of the month, which is good. So I'm actually really looking forward to the start of summer. I guess next episode, huh? What if we're going to be planting down a bunch of stuff? And then after that, we don't have to really worry about it. Like everything is all sprinkled, sprinkled water and the Junimos are taking care of actually harvesting all the stuff. It's going to be amazing, you guys. But for right now, oh man, all my chickens and whatnot are right next to each other. So it's really easy. Oh man, <laughs> so it was really easy for me to bet them. But uh, oh, and speaking of such, we have the dinosaur over here. There you go. And yeah, we have, we have more dino mayonnaise and just mayonnaise in general I could have taken care of earlier too. Uh, you know, before we went to bed, but it was like 140 or whatever when we went inside the house. So we didn't really have that much time. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let me take care of some of the morning busy work. And while I'm doing that, I'll probably think in the back of my head, like, what do I want to do to possibly take advantage of this 8% good luck or whatever it is today, you guys? Oh, yeah. And then, by the way, yeah, I said a few episodes. Oh, wow. A lot of troubles. I said a few episodes ago, I need to start making some, what are they called? Grass starters or something like that. Uh, putting some more, like, say, up here, especially on a rainy day when all the animals stay inside. Uh, just because it looks like they're starting to eat through all the crops down there. So, you know, eventually it's going to run out. So I need to kind of get ahead of that before we do run out, you know? All right, guys, I am back. It's Saturday the 27th at 12.20 p.m., so we have plenty of time to go to Clinton and make him open up those uh, geodes. And hey, we have better luck today than we had yesterday, so we may, even though he wasn't there yesterday, I had no choice to not, you know, there's no way for him to even, oh, jeez, warp tone for the beach, not bad. Uh, as I'm struggling to figure out how the English language works. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, yesterday we didn't have a job. Whoops. Uh, I guess I still don't know how the English language works. I need to go to the town. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, we didn't have a choice uh, yesterday because he wasn't even here. He was like in the boiler room or whatever. There he is right there. So let's actually process those geos with our better luck today. See if we get anything good out of these. See, see if we get anything new because we're actually close to finishing up that museum. I just don't know. Oh, that looks new. Is that Neptunite? I, I, I wish you could hover over it while in the Clint like UI. Yeah, it's frozen. I'm like, we literally got that in the mail from the wizard like today, right? Oh, man, three. Uh. I want to spend because I think I still have coal here. I could actually put that in the uh, I'm like, we get two to eight every day from the Statue of Perfection or whatever that thing is, right? I don't think, yeah, let's just try it. Let's just continue trying to get some more stuff. I'm not crazy about it, even though I know we could. Uh, oh man, 10, 10 coal. That's actually pretty good. I think we're going to go for that. 10 coal, like the iridium's good and all, but I, I think the 10 coal is a little bit more valuable, honestly, because we have so much iridium, anyways. We get free iridium literally every day. We have more coal right there, but uh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, I thought I was accidentally gifting him a, uh, a thing, so hold on. Just regularly talk to him, and then, uh, oh yeah, I guess I could have upgraded one of my tools, too, but then we wouldn't be able to, uh, oh, whoopsie, yeah, that do it on the anvil, not his little fire thing over there. <laughs> oh, star shard, not bad. We can get a little bit of money out of that. That's not bad. We did switch out the star shards in our uh, crystallariums for diamonds, because we can make fairy dust out of that, right? But, yeah, just stone, not crazy about it. We still have 20 more. That looks alamite. That looks familiar. I think we've already... I wish the sound effects that it made kind of indicated, oh, you, you already donated or whatever. Like, it does that cool sound effect, and it makes me think, oh, man, oh, whoa. Soaps to, uh, I feel like, I feel like we might have already done that. We're starting around our inventories, but yeah, we did, we got that pretty recently. Whatever that, yeah, Hellvite, yeah. And then, uh, Earth Stone, we have hundreds of those at home, I'm sure, right? And then, uh, oh, 10 more coal, not bad. I guess I could do another set of, uh, 10 coal over here if this is done. It's going to be done in 50 minutes. Uh, he's still going to be open in 50 minutes, so that's not bad. See if anything here is new. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. I guess that soapstone is new. Gunther could tell me more about the item. Let's actually uh, sell stuff back to him. I think we could uh, still see the yeah, shop. Can we see? Oh, we can't see the uh, descriptions while in a shop. But yeah, Neptunite, we already did that. Let me actually organize this by 100,000 year old slime. <laughs> so let me organize this by uh, like stuff we already like donated or whatever. 
Yeah, it looks like that soapstone might be the only one that we could actually uh, donate to Gunther. That, that, that's new, you know? Everything else we've already donated at least once, it seems. Yeah, so uh, let's just sell everything else back to you. Just to get some inventory space back as well as hey, a little bit of money, too. So, Geminite, Star Shards, yeah, 500 gold from that. Make sure we don't accidentally sell that to uh, whatever the thing is right there. And Petrified Slime. Yeah, even the Earth. I don't know. I might keep that. I think you'd use that for crafting, so I guess I'll keep it. It's not really that bad, right? Uh, oh, I guess if anything, I should have got the, uh, put the soapstone in that thing. Got a second one of them, but what? whatever. Not that big of a deal. What is that thing? Dolomite? Did we do it? That looks new. Okay, underwater reefs near underwater volcano or whatever, but seems like we already donated that. So I guess we can sell it straight back to him. Boom. And then uh, everything else, let's continue. Whoops. Continue opening up those geos, process geos. We have 13 left. Uh, oh, I guess I could have done another 10 of that uh, thing if I waited. But it's 15 minutes, but nah. Cool. Not that big of a deal. We have a lot. Whoa! Hold on. Are you still able to get a prismatic shard? I, I feel like we had this happen once, right? 40 minutes? I guess I'll wait. Uh, so I guess while we're waiting, let's go over to Gunther and go donate that soapstone if I... Okay, I didn't accidentally sell it. <laughs> I was about to say, like, did I accidentally sell it during all that nonsense? Golly. Oh, random uh, field snack. Okay, not bad. Yeah, we can actually make those. And those are decent, I think, right? I want to see if we can actually make it like a bunch of those. That could be our uh, salmon berry when we start running out of salmon berries, right? Donate to the museum. Yeah, we have a soapstone. Yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, so, jeez, we're really... Like, we're going to start using all that over there, but I guess I'll place that down there. Uh, it looks like I, I'd say there's like eight slots left. It looks like there you guys. That's crazy. Uh, but 120. I think it needs to be like 140, 150. That time. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, with me doing all that off camera work just a minute ago, I did. Uh, I did look in here, and oh, I guess we could do this. This could be a good way of us, uh, you know, taking advantage of our good luck today. You know, without doing the same thing we've done previously, like the the skull cavern and all that kind of stuff, because we've done that already. We already finished that mission. Might as well do this one. If if we're not going to be able to do the island ingredients one uh, special request, we might as well do this one for uh, Demetrius, right? So I suppose we could catch 10 sunfish. Ooh, where do you get those again? Hold on, sunfish. Because uh, I think it's in the rivers or something like that, right? Uh, Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah. So spring, summer. But we have until 7, it looks like. So we're, we're slowly running out of time here. I'm like, it makes sense because it needs to be out during the sun time, right? <laughs> when the sun's actually out. Sun time. But anyways, uh, yeah, don't don't want to process it. Let's just wait the 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah, 150 is when this is going to be done. And then we'll be able to process another, I guess, get another prismatic shard. So we could actually put this one. Let's go to, yeah, 10 coal. Yeah, it is. It works. Prismatic shard. Oh, my gosh. It works, you guys. Oh, my gosh. It only works once, unfortunately. So I guess I'll go process the rest of these geodes while we're waiting. Gold and eh, singular gold. Not crazy about it. We can get a ton of that in the skull cap. Ooh. Hem hematite? That looks new. Let me see. Yeah, going through another new thing. Let's just process some more geos. So that's cool. So maybe we're down. Yeah, we donate that. That's like the fake gold. No, pirate. Yeah, yeah, it is the fake gold stuff, right? Pirate. I think so. Uh, that looks familiar. Orpiment. Doesn't sound familiar though. Yeah, we have a lot of those dragon eggs, thunder eggs, whatever. Yeah, that. I think we literally just got one like five minutes ago. Gemini. Just same thing there. Uh, frozen tear. I guess we can give this to Sebastian if we see him out and about. Ten, ten iron. Eh, eh. Eh, not going to do it. And a sandstone or limestone or whatever. That, yeah, sandstone. Not, not crazy about it, but 15 minutes. He's going to be close. Well, he's going to close at three. So we do. We can if, if we time it just right, we can go back in there and get our prismatic shard before he closes. But let's donate this other one to Gunther. And that, hey, look at that. We actually have two items at uh, two, two items closer to finishing this. So one, two, three. Oh, empty slots there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots there. So it's... I said it was less than 10. I said it was like 8 or something like that, but now it's less than 10. Golly. <laughs> oh, we got a new reward. We haven't gotten a reward from Gunther in a while. So what is that? Like the wars, was that going to be? A magic rock? Wait, didn't we? Isn't that? Isn't, doesn't the dwarf sell that or something? Magic rock candy. Can I make that? Magic sparkle shirt? So I could sell it to Pierre for 5,000 gold, or I could consume it and get all of these abilities. 500 energy, 225 health. Uh, which basically maxes out any amount of energy, any amount of health. Uh, plus two mining, plus five luck, plus one speed, plus five defense, plus five attack. Hopefully for a pretty good amount of time. Hopefully not for like five seconds, right? So that'd be a really good one. Yeah, the uh, that'd be really good in like the volcano dungeon if I want to go back there and get a bunch of... Uh, I forgot what it's called. But you, you know, that stuff that we need to combine like a gem together with our sword and get something really good out of that. I wonder if you could actually use the prismatic shard. I'd hate to look up like a guide for it because it'd be it'd kind of ruin the whole 
like, like, like experience the surprise of it and whatnot. I'd hate to be like, oh man, the best upgrade in the in the volcanic forge or whatever. We need this and that, right? So I'd hate to do that. I'd, I'd like to discover it like somewhat naturally at least, right? Then we have about four and a half ish hours to uh, to go fishing for the sun food. We could do that like right outside because it has to be in the town or is it in the no? I don't because it didn't have the green check mark just a second ago. I think it has to be in the forest, which would be like oh here we go. Yeah, we got the other prismatic. So we got two prismatic shards this episode, you guys. Amazing. So let's just double check the sunfish. Is it in town or yeah, it is in town. Yeah, so I could do it like right here. Yeah, cool. So we have such good luck right now. I could yeah, I could have better luck if I. Uh, Ate one of those consumables that we have in our fridge. It increased our luck a little bit more. I am wearing the luck. Yeah, the luck. I am wearing that. So at least that helps out a little bit. And you guys said, yeah, the. Did I mention this previously? Some sort of a ring. Yeah, iridium band. I think I mentioned it, but I think because we didn't have enough solar essence or void essence, one of those, I might have cut it out of the video. Uh, but we have plenty of it iridium. We have like 20 something iridium because we have enough of that. But that's going to be tracks items and increases attack damage by 10%. And it glows, so that, 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 that can get rid of this thing right here. And then we can combine that together with the lucky ring, and that'd be really good. Or maybe even the vampire ring, that'd be really cool too. But for right now, let's just fish over here and see if we can get anything good. So, whoop, there we go. And hopefully we get something good. I don't know if there's going to be a whirlpool here in the river. I don't know if I've ever seen a whirlpool. Oh yeah, I have. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we haven't done, I don't even know if I have an attachment on my rod. So it might actually be, I'm like, whatever this thing is, it's just hanging out. Yeah, there you go, we got a perfect easy. <laughs> It was a small mouth bass. Okay, not not bad, but I I think we have seen whirlpools and we always have good luck whenever we have a whirlpool and we fish right inside of it, right? But it's probably going to be really really rare to see that here. It's probably going to be another small mouth bass and it's not going to move from this like bottom location right here. Yeah, no, the perfect right there. And oh whoa, that's a, yep, we got a okay, so we got one. We need ten, I think, for uh, Demetrius. Yeah, we need to catch ten sunfish. We have two days to do it, so we could do it today as well as tomorrow, and I think another day. Today, tomorrow. Yeah, because tomorrow it would say final day, I think, right? So that would in indicate there's technically another day after that. So, oh man, ah, let's get that. Let's get that chest. Yeah, that fish isn't moving. It might be another sunfish. It, it's acting very. Ah, it's moving up a little bit more. And sunfish or even the smallmouth bass just a minute ago. So, oh when is actually a smallmouth bass. Okay, well at least we got some loot. Two geodes and oh man, I thought those were uh, whatever it's called the the taro tuber stuff. But no, it's just the right shoots, man. All right, well, let me keep fishing here until 7 p.m. And uh, I guess I'll see if I can get up the 10 fish. And hey, if so, that's going to be really good, you guys. Oh, man, another uh, sunfish right there. Another record. Cool. Right before I uh, pause right there. Awesome. Yeah, I just need to get eight more. And hopefully we get those here in just a bit, you guys. So wish me luck. Oh, man, you guys. I'm, I'm back real quick, by the way. Uh, we have five. Yeah, five sunfish right now. I just got a notification saying a train is passing through Stardew Valley. We haven't had one of those happen in a, a little while, and I think you guys, last time it happened, I think you guys said, hey, if you go to the train and, you know, not get heckin' hit by it, right? Because I think that's what happened last time. I was like, oh man, I wonder what happens if you <laughs> literally get hit by the train. And I almost like died. But, uh, I, I forgot, like, what saved me during that, but apparently you can see, like, items, like, falling off of this or something, right? What, what did you guys say? It's been a while. Oh, there's something written on the side of that, that car right there. You guys see that? There's like cows inside of this one. Cool. <laughs> and there's a caboose. Oh, wait, no, it's not a caboose. That's like a little a passenger train or a passenger or whatever right now. Oh, look at this one right here. So is there anything special I need to do to, to get the stuff to come out of this, though? Something pop in Abbey. I think that says right there. I don't see anything falling off the uh, the train like you guys said. This Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a different type of train you guys are talking about. Maybe like a a train that has like open tops. I don't know what those are actually called, like technical names. But you guys know what I mean. Maybe that's more likely for stuff to come out if there's like an open top and it just like whoop, flew, fly out. But at least I didn't get hit by the train that time right there. But it is 7 p.m. So missed out on this getting the last five sunfish by coming up here trying to get the train and any loot that were in the train. So like, not that big of a video. I'm like, we have two more days to do that, right? It's not that big of a deal. We do have half of them already. We have five of the sunfish already. I guess I can't complain too much about that, but Right now, I guess we'll just go back home. It is Saturday the 27th, so there's only one day left of spring until it turns to summertime. And I guess I'll just end off the episode right here. I don't know how long it's going to be with me cutting out a bunch of trash. But yeah, it's 9, 10 p.m. I guess I could take care of some of the last minute because we work around the farm. My inventory is basically full, though, so I can't really do anything right now. So maybe I could just see if anything stacks up over here. That'd be really good. Oh, wow. A bunch of stuff stacked up right there. Nice. And we have a lot of fish, too. Yeah, we have a geode right there, too. So uh... and then, yeah, two prismatic shards. I guess I can get one. 
and put it in that other uh, Junimo hut. That'd be really cool. And we have another warp toad over the beach. How many other? We actually have seven of them now. So we have seven. We have uh, five for the farm. We have three for the mountains. None for the desert, though. Next time we go to the desert, um, we want to take. Oh, yeah. I was. Ah. Uh, I remember we're purposely saving some of those uh, Omni Geos to trade that one guy to get the recipe for the for the desert totems. Yeah, we're probably honestly we're probably going to make the actual obelisk for the desert here sometimes. We have half a million gold. We need a million, I think. I think we have all the other like actual like you know like coconuts and like cactus fruit and maybe iridium bars or something like that too. I think we could do that no problem, you guys. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys said at the end of the month these honey uh bee houses. Yeah, two days. Yeah, they're not going to be done in time. Yeah, three days, two days. I just harvested them. Uh, so we might as well actually get the plants back from this. There you go. So we might as well actually harvest the plants. So we'd use those for, like, say, gifting or crafting or whatever else here in the future. Put this uh, scarecrow back. Rare crow, whatever it's called. Yeah, just regular scarecrow. Just put that back. And then uh, at the start of summer, we could put, like, what? Fairy whatever's over there. I forgot what the summer uh, flower is. That gives us really good money for the honey, but you guys know what I mean. Might as well get these that way, because I'm like, if I wait until summer one, they just straight up die. They like disappear. So I might as well actually get these back, right? So that's pretty good there. Uh, then, yeah, let's go put this uh, prismatic shard in the Junimo hut. And we'll speak of the Junimo hut. I might as well actually check up on them. Yeah, we have a lot of parsnips and garlic and whatnot. I might as well grab all these. Got me. Go put them up in their respective chests and stuff. And yeah, like all these are basically empty now, you guys. And yeah, as we already like talked about a few episodes ago, the Junimos do not get uh, forage, like spring foraging uh, seeds. So we have to go do that manually down there. Uh, but everything else, like the parsnips and the garlic and even the cauliflower, yeah, that's easy. I just can't fit it in my inventory right now because full of all this other stuff, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's the last week of the month, so we're only able to get the, uh, the tea leaves during the last week of the month. I already took care of those, I believe, every day this week. So I believe uh, these are, oh yeah, okay, these we're going to get these at the right at the end of the day. Uh, but, like, before the start of summer, we need to retill all the land over here so all the sprinklers actually work. We don't have to manually water up again, right? So definitely want to watch out for that, and I believe, uh, yeah, that's going to finish up in 20 minutes. So I, that's why I left an extra cauliflower in my inventory. It's going to be 1 a.m. Yeah, we're going to be racing against the clock again here in just a second, guys. <laughs> and there you go. Okay, cool. Are right, you guys back? Oh, man, there's the uh, speaker on there. Man, I missed out on that. Uh, not that big of a deal, but I'm back, and I think it's time for us to go to bed with our loving, beautiful wife over here. The the mother of my child up there. Can I throw my child in the air while wow, it's like 1.20 a.m.? I don't know if we can. Hold on. Oh, yeah, she's technically sleeping right now. So I wonder what hours of the day she's going to be awake for me to throw her 10 feet in the air again. <laughs> well, let's just go to bed. Day 27 of spring year three, and then I guess next episode we could actually... Uh... And by the way, is the moon? I know it's been like a week and a half since I last played. Uh, but I don't remember that moon being there. I don't know if that's like a random event right there, but we got about 20k overnight. Not bad. Basically 50k in this episode. So, hey, not going to complain about that one bit. But next time we come back next episode is going to be the last day of the month for spring. So we're going to have to start preparing for the beginning of summer. Uh, let's see if we're going to get anything good out of this iridium. Hopefully we get eight. We got eight earlier. Seven. Not bad. That's really good, actually. Jeez. We got a uh, two bait. Eh, I'm not going to complain about getting low bait and really good iridium. That's that's like best case scenario, honestly. <laughs> We got another coffee right there, thanks to uh, Evelyn's really cool coffee maker. Awesome. And we can play with our loving daughter down here, too. Blip, throw her 10 feet in the air. Blip. Wait, why am I throwing her only, like, 3 feet in the air now? Like, I threw her, like, this this high previously? <laughs> what was going on with that? Oh, So I guess this is quote-unquote talking with her, huh? Yeah, she's at one heart right now, next in 210 points. She's a baby right now, 13 days to crawl. Didn't it say that yesterday? And it's summer 14 is her birthday now. What the... That's so confusing. <laughs> Gungus, golly, what a ridiculously awesome name, right? <laughs> I don't know where Penny's, Penny's just gone, but uh, try. Oh, she's right here. What's she have to say? Hi, honey. If I knew more about farm work, I'd help you out more. Sorry. Yeah, I'd help you out with like organizing books and stuff too, but uh, I don't know how to do that. I, don't, I can't read, so. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know you're only learning about that now that you're married to me after like a year almost, right? I'll be thinking of you. I'll be thinking of you too. And hug and kiss. There you go. Cool. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Money. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. How much money did we get last time we had a whole shed full of wine? I don't know, but this is all what? Star fruit? Oh, wait. Did I miss out on one? Right there? Yeah, this is all star fruit. Oh, my gosh. And it's thirty one fifty each. Golly. So, was that always? I need to look at my footage. I guess I missed one this whole entire time. Whoops. I'm like, I guess missing out on one. That's better than missing out on, like, two or three of them, right? We're going to get such good money, you guys. It's going to be amazing. I'm curious what the uh, these guys want, though. Let's see. Oh, we had that earlier, man. We had whatever that thing is. 
droplet was it oh yeah basalt we had that earlier from uh, opening up with clint with the, the omni geos and whatnot but right now i guess i'll just end off the episode right here and we can start looking forward to next episode where we're going to be selling like 200 grand worth of star fruit wine or something like that right that's going to be amazing as well as going to the traveling merchant and it's sunday so it's last day of the week so we need to go fishing again for the aquatic overpopulation thing huh yeah so we need to get just five more fish and we have that done that's impossible can't do that i'm not even going to the island uh on the 28th next episode anyway so not that big of a deal but at least we you know kind of doing that mission in the background we did get a lot of taro tour taro fruit or whatever taro whatever it's called <laughs> oh whoa what is this we got treasure a treasure chest Wow, it's loaded with treasure. How much is that worth? Hopefully I get that again at the beginning. Oh, we get a pirate hat. I might actually. Hold on. What hat do I have? Oh, yeah, I've got the dinosaur. I, we've had the dinosaur outfit for a long time. I might. It, I'm like, it's, it's going to match our hat or, uh, or our shirt. Our hat's going to be black pirate hat. It's going to match like the black shirt with the moon on it. We just need to figure out what our new pants are going to be, you guys. But we don't need that 5,000 gold. Like we have what? 600K? Yeah, 618K. Like, I don't need that money that bad. And we have so much wine ready to go. Like, I can get that money, like, ten times over. <laughs> like, golly. And probably even more. Yeah. More than ten times over. Like, 15, 20 times over next episode from all that wine. So, yeah. I think it's more valuable for us to make the pirate hat out of that next episode, you guys. So, I'm very excited about that. And then, uh, maybe we're going to figure out what, like, pants we're going to make, too. Actually, hold on. Yeah, speaking of basalt. Like, can you make pants out of that? Or, uh... Oh, I don't even know if you can do any sort of pants. Just says dark shirt. Unless, yeah, I, I think we have to use like a dye. Or, so I, I might need to go to Emily to use her like dye station. Or, oh, yeah, I didn't do the actual outro. Hold on. Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Need to get uh, working on this ostrich egg incubator thing. Uh, but you guys know the deal. Like button, subscribe button, bell, all that kind of jazz. You guys have heard it 135 times by now. <laughs> so thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.